When your iPhone is stuck in recovery mode, you might see a black screen with an iTunes symbol or a computer icon. Either way, you can't use your phone again until you fix it. So we've gathered several easy and free ways to help you fix the issue. There are force restart your iPhone, update iTunes Finder to the latest version, restore iPhone with DFU mode, one click to exit recovery mode, and use a system repair tool. Let's check them out. You might be able to exit recovery mode by restarting your phone. Since there is nothing showing up on the screen, you can force it to restart instead. Before you get started, you have to disconnect any cables from your iPhone first, otherwise you'll put it back in recovery mode. Now I'll show you how to force restart your iPhone 8 or later. First, press and release the volume up, followed by the volume down button. Then press and hold the side button until your iPhone restarts. As to other iPhone models, you can follow the steps showed in these pictures to force restart them. When your iPhone is stuck in recovery mode, the iTunes or computer symbol on the screen prompts you to restore it with the computer. This involves connecting it to iTunes or Finder and downloading the latest version of iOS. Restoring your iPhone is likely to fix software problems, but it also erases all the content and data from your device. If you want to securely exit recovery mode without data loss, you can check the timestamp in the description and jump to the fourth method directly. If you think this method is suitable for you, then follow my steps. Connect your iPhone to a computer using the cable that it came with. If you're a Mac user, open Finder and select your iPhone from the sidebar. If you're using a Windows computer, open iTunes and select the iPhone icon from the top left corner. Click the option to restore iPhone, then confirm you want to restore and update your iPhone. Note that this will erase all the content and data from your device. Keep your iPhone connected. It usually takes some time to download and install. After all is done, your iPhone should restart on the Hello screen. Follow the setup prompts to recover your backup if you have backed up your device. If restoring the operating system on your iPhone didn't work, there might be a problem with the firmware. You can reinstall the firmware on your iPhone by putting it in DFU mode and restoring it with a computer. DFU behaves much like recovery mode, making your iPhone unresponsive except it doesn't show anything on the screen at all. Note that this will also erase all the data on your iPhone. So you can jump to the last method if you don't want to do so. To restore the iPhone in DFU mode, follow these steps. Make sure your iTunes or Finder is the most recent version. Then open iTunes or Finder and connect your iPhone to the computer. For iPhone 8 or later, quickly press the volume up button and then volume down button. Then press and hold the side button. As soon as the screen goes black, press and hold volume down button together with the side button for 5 seconds. After those 5 seconds, release the side button, but keep holding down the volume down button for at least 5 more seconds. If your screen turns black, it means that you have entered DFU mode successfully. And on your computer screen, a window pops up in iTunes saying, iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. At this time, click OK on the pop-up window and then the restore iPhone button. And all you need to do is wait as it might take a long time, but be patient. Once it is complete, you'll get a message to leave your device connected and then your phone will reboot and go back to normal again. The steps to put your iPhone in DFU mode are different on other models. Check this picture if you're using an iPhone 7 Plus or earlier to put your device in DFU mode. Then follow the same steps to restore your iPhone as we did before. If this method fails again, you can try the next solution. This is also a free method, so don't hesitate to try it. First, download and install Umendit on your computer. There's a download link in the description. 
launch it and choose enter slash exit recovery mode. The program will tell you to connect your device to your computer. Connect it and tap next. The software will detect if your phone is already in recovery mode, so you can't re-enter it. Now tap on the exit button and all you need to do is wait. Finally, the phone will reboot and the screen will now show you've exited recovery mode successfully. If the free exit enter recovery mode function of Umended didn't work out, there's a final solution that you can try. Still, we'll use Umended in our last method, but we need to use the paid function of it this time. With this, you can fix the issue and exit recovery mode without any data loss. Choose the standard repair and then connect your device to the computer. Because your iPhone is already in recovery mode, the software will detect it directly. Once the software detects your phone, it will offer you the firmware supporting your mobile device. Hit on the next and wait for several minutes. After downloading the firmware, you can see Umended is ready to fix your phone. Click start and it will begin to repair your iPhone. Eventually, you will see a screen saying your device has been fixed then your phone will reboot and it should be fine again. Well, those are the five methods you can try to fix your iPhone stuck in recovery mode issue. Hope this video helped you out.